Are you looking for the best possible, most up-to-date gaming PC builds uh, for May 2022? Well, you've come to the right place. This is the right video. We do these uh, videos every single month uh, here at Noob Computer Build. Uh, here's the May update for 2022 for in these builds that we're going to talk about today, the $1,500, $1,000, $800, $500, and everything in between kind of encapsulates those builders that want to just get into building and play games all the way up to those that want to play into 4K settings, depending on your budget, and we'll get into that in a second. Before we do that, uh, a few updates before we uh, go through the builds uh, for those of you that have been tuning in. Uh, graphics card prices are here. Supply levels are here. Last month we talked about how they were improving and things like that. Uh, however, it's true. Now it's true. Um, we have better graphics card prices and they're actually available. Not quite MSRP, but they're like 30% better than they were at the beginning of the year. It's huge. Like 30%. That's huge. Um, also, you can actually go to the store and buy them. <laughs> If you go to the site here, newcomputerbuild.com, we do link to them as well if you want direct links to the exact cards that we talked about today. But uh, before we do that, look, so GPU availability and pricing update April 2022 here at TechSpot. They go through uh, kind of the, the this news as well. Uh, don't trust headlines like this one here. PC component supply nightmare could end, except for graphics cards uh, by this guy that published this article two days ago. I mean, it's just a headline to leer you in uh, because it's not true you can actually get cards now and they are way better priced than they were uh, for a long time and you couldn't even get a good card uh, for like two years now since the pandemic really uh, but anyways uh, cards are available we even include this one here look the RTX 3080 graphics card has dropped to three or 889 at Newegg 110 dollars less than it was last week it's true this one uh, we actually include this one in the in the uh, upgrades to the 1500 hundred dollar build but this is the reality now. This card would have been going, like, I swear, like three, four months ago, $1,500 to $2,000 easy. So let's get started with the builds. Uh, let's get started with the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for May 2022. Again, this build is kind of that high-end tier build. You want to play into 4K settings at high settings in games. Uh, play you know, any game 2K uh, resolutions and 1080p for sure at really high FPSs. So this is that uh, build that you just want to play everything. Uh, plus, there's room for upgrades if you want that as well. And we do post uh, upgrades here at the site, newcomputerbuild.com. You just got to look for them. Uh, but we're just going to go over the base builds here. So the CPU we have for this one is the Intel Core i5-12400. Uh, this one's coming in at its cheaper this month at 160 $69.99. We do include the stock cooler, the Intel Laminar RM1 stock cooler, which is good until you start really pushing this CPU or you want better cooling in the future. We do recommend upgrading that cooler to something like an air cooler like a, uh, or, a, or a, a, an AIO or something like that. Uh, that might, may cost you a little more, about 30 bucks plus if you're going air cooler or up to you know something like $100 more if you want a really, really good AIO sort of thing. Anyways, moving on, motherboard, Gigabyte B660 gaming uh, motherboard here, $164.99. The power driver, the graphics card for this one is the EVGA GeForce RTX 3070 XC3 for this build. 778.44. That's amazing. That's really good. Um, so, uh, yeah, and it's available. So, and, and we, we'll link to it. Like I said, we link to it uh, from the site here. But this, again, was like $1,200 like three months ago. I'm just uh, generalizing, but it was well over $1,000. So, uh, and if you could find it. RAM, Corsair Vengeance, LPX 16 gigabyte kit of memory, 3600 uh, megahertz kit, 6799. The storage we have for this one is the Crucial PT1 terabyte NVMe SSD, 8999. Power supply to power it is the 750 watt Supernova EVGA, $119.99. And the case is the infamous Corsair 4000D, uh, 9499. That's come down in price a little bit too, just to note. And this build comes in under $1,500 this month. <laughs> you may have noticed that this, this exact build would have went over almost two thousand dollars not long ago so the price is one thousand four hundred eighty six dollars and thirty eight cents the one thousand dollar build now this is the next in line kind of just under that fifteen hundred dollar build in terms of performance but you really could uh, play any game at high settings to uh, 2k resolutions and 1080p resolutions high fps no problem at all all right cpu intel core i5 12400 um Wow, I just noticed the price on this is a little wrong. It's not 207.76. It's what the it was included in the $1,500 build, which is 169.99. Apologize for that mistake there. Uh, and again, uh, the included coolers: the Intel 11R RM1 stock cooler. Motherboard for this one is the Gigabyte B660 MDS3H motherboard, 119.99. The graphics card for this one is the XFX uh, Swift uh, RX6600 XT for four. $49.99. Amazing, amazing price. Uh, and then the memory we have is a crucial, or of course, not crucial, Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit. 
Uh, 6799 storage we have is the crucial P2 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD in this case for 5399 and the power supply is the VGA Supernova 650 watt power supply. Uh, 8299 in the case is the uh, NZXT H510 case, a very good case, <laughs> used widely, $86.99, and this comes up just over $1,000, $1,031.93. Moving on, this build, the $800 build, has had the most significant upgrade this month for May 2022. That is because we have swapped the CPU for a newer, better CPU, uh, spe specifically for gaming, as well, a better uh, graphics card as well because the prices have gone down we can fit it into this budget now making this build amazing this is literally like if you just want to get into pc building play all games 1080p no problem uh, high settings boom this is your entry ticket all right let's go cpu intel core i3 uh 12 100 134.99 again stock cooler for this one that that's included with the cpu motherboard gigabyte B660M DS3H motherboard 119.99 and then the graphics card the EVGA GeForce RTX 3050 XC graphics card 329.99 16 gb kit of Corsair Vengeance uh, 3600 megahertz memory 67.99 crucial P2 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD 53.99 power supplies the PVS 600 watt Prestige 51.99 and the case uh, for this one is uh, the Zelman S3 uh, mid tower case 59.99 coming in at just $818.93. Phenomenal when you compare it to last month's build. If you want to check out last month's build, you come to the site or check out our previous video. But uh, that is, this is amazing. So out of all the builds, this is the one that had the best upgrades. And now finally, we have the $500 gaming PC build of the month for May 2022. This is that I just want to build a PC, get it done, get started, uh, and have uh, kind of a potential for the future if you want to upgrade and get more performance. But it will play you know, all games at 1080p or 720 to 1080p, depending on the settings that you want to play at. Uh, this one also includes integrated graphics, so it doesn't include a graphics card, but it does leave rooms to add one in the future if you want to really boost that performance. Uh, so the CPU is the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G, uh, 179.98 cooler is the included AMD Wraith Stealth cooler. The motherboard Gigabyte B550 MDS3H, 109.99. Included graphics is the integrated Radeon RX graphics included with the CPU. Memory, we have Cor uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit, uh, 3600 3, megahertz, uh, 6799, 240 gigabyte SSD Kingston, uh, 3499, uh, power supply unit, Thermaltake Smart 500 watt, 3999, and the case is, again is the Zalman S3, 5999. Coming in under $500, $492.93. Uh, so this month is kind of the best, in, in my opinion, the best, best month to build a PC in a long time. It's very, you can get all your components, no problem, and not have to uh, really search too hard to get graphics cards and things like that, or other hardware even, uh, because there were chip shortages, uh, et cetera. Uh, but these are available, like even the $800 build, the reason we didn't include the newer Intel CPUs is because you couldn't actually get them. So, uh, but again, if you can't get the i3-12100, uh, you could get the previous one that we included in the previous build and look at a previous video for that, but uh, and as those would be available. but. Uh, you should be able to find these right now. But if you want some upgrade suggestions, visit the site, noobcomputerbuild.com. If you have any questions as you're building a PC, just leave a comment. I'll try my best to get back to you. But uh, until next month, uh, best of luck building your PC. And uh, yeah, good luck and take care.